India is an adventurous paradise. You head out for a holiday, which quickly turns into a survival situation. A dream turns into a nightmare. I'm thirsty, I'm tired, I'm hungry and I'm lost. Shelter, water and food become a priority. A fire to keep you warm. But how? I'm Chandan Lahiri from OTS Survival School. I'll give you some tips and show you some tricks to use in a self-reliant situation. Do not think problems can only happen to other people. It can happen to you. Navigation is an art, it's a science, but whatever it is, art or science, it is absolutely imperative that you know how to navigate. Because when you're out in the wilderness, you don't have any distinguishing landmarks, any features. You probably don't know your directions. You might get stuck. You might get lost. And at that time, you'll need to try and figure out which way north is or east or west or south. And once you know your directions, you'll know which way to go, hopefully, because you know which way you came from. But did you know one thing? When we say you should find which side is north, north is actually three kinds of norths. If you look at the sun, you can actually use the sun, put a stick, mark the the shadow that the stick forms because of the sun's rays. You can get an east-west line. If you get an east-west line, you'll get a north-south line. So you'll know where north is. So that's one north, but that's solar north. I can take out my compass or I can use the compass on my watch. That'll also show me directions. It'll tell me which side north is. But if I plot that line, to north that my compass watch showed me and the one that I can figure out using the shadow stick method and the rays of the sun, will they point in the same direction? They won't. Because one is solar north, the other is magnetic north. The compass will show me magnetic north and the sun will show me solar north. So one is solar north, the second is magnetic north and both will point in two separate directions. So which side is north? Where is the North Pole, for instance? North Pole is located at true north. That's the third kind of north. And how do you know where the North Pole is? If I use the compass on my watch, or I use the north-south direction that the sun tells me, and keep walking down that line straight, would I reach the North Pole? No, I won't, because they don't point to true north. True north is a third kind of north. And true north, you can tell by using the stars. In the Northern Hemisphere, use the pole star. The pole star will point you to true north. It'll take you to the North Pole. So when you're navigating and you need to find north, east, west, south, the cardinal directions, be aware that north are three kinds. One is solar north, the second is magnetic north, and the third is true north. And you need to correct that deviation between the three kinds of norths. It's about four to five percent anywhere in India, not more than that. But you need to know that you need to correct for that deviation. And that's called declination. When you're out, when you're a day hiker, you're a weekend adventurer, and you're looking for north, you may not need to be so accurate, as long as you know that that is a northerly direction, you should be all right. But when you're in a tactical mission, then you need to be very clear as to which side you're going to be headed, the exact direction. So just remember, there are three kinds of north, and you need to know which one you would use to navigate. And remember, it can happen to you. Learn to adapt improvise, innovate, and overcome. To learn more tips and tricks, visit this site. I'm Chandan Lahiri, and I hope to see you soon at the OTS Survival School. Leave nothing but footprints. Bring back nothing but memories.